You heard it. Bloodthirsty squirrels are behind New York's latest crime wave. Deranged rodents are attacking Queens residents for food, leaving them needing hospital treatment and fearing to step outside their home. And this has got to be an offshoot of the Black Squirrels Matter movement. Oh, wait a minute. There is no such thing as a black squirrel. Hold on. Maybe, maybe there is that I just haven't seen. So all squirrels matter movement, baby, say their name. The wild attacks have occurred mostly in Rigo Park, with the bulk of them happening on 65th Drive near Fitchett Street. One woman has even had to go to the emergency room, with others expressing their worry about even going outside since the attack started in late November. The residents have been instructed to buy licensed traps. In order to stop the attacks, experts believe that the squirrels are acting out as a result of being fed by humans. Hmm. Squirrels have always been fed by humans, so it seems kind of odd that this would be happening now. I, I don't know that that theory is valid. Let's think through this a little bit. Maybe there's something else. Wild squirrels have been attacking residents living in the New York City borough of Queens since late November, leaving many afraid to venture outside, which we learned about. It just basically runs up my leg, and I'm like, Okay, squirrel, hello. What are you doing? Michelle Frederick told ABC7 about her December 21 attack. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, what are you doing on my leg? Look at that. Look at him. Yeah, damn, look at him. He's all like, up on that pole, or is that a female? Is that a strip pole he's on there? Or is he just trying to tear his way through the house to get in there and get at her? <laughs> look at that. Come on now. You're big. How many times bigger are you than that squirrel? Just mm, punch him right in the face. He either bit or scratched me on my neck. And then I must have reached over. And the next thing I know, it's a cage match and I'm losing. You're losing a fight to a squirrel in a cage match. It's the octagon. Throw him against the wall. Come on. Frederick had blood and bruises all over her hands. She got a rabies shot as a precaution and then warned another neighbor who was eventually attacked by a squirrel herself. Visions of Rocky the flying squirrel going through my head right now, just coming down on those humans and just laying it to them. I tried to shake it off, but I couldn't. Squirrels have claws, cling onto your winter jacket, and there's no way to shake it off. Shared neighbor, Nasia Wang. Well, these must be some sexist squirrels. They probably have some little squirrel balls down there because it looks like only women are getting attacked. So maybe the male squirrels are tired of what's going on in their little neck of the woods and they're not getting any from Mrs. Squirrel, so they're taking it out on the female humans. Three other residents shared they had similar experiences with a single squirrel, or once the traveling groups. They're, they are like BLM and Antifa. They travel in groups. Can't fight one-on-one. -on -one. They gather in groups of 10 or 20 to come and get you. The residents were forced to hire their own licensed trapper after the city provided no additional solutions to help. No word yet on whether these squirrels are going in, smashing windows, breaking into businesses, and taking reparations. Worried for the children? That's what most people are scared. With the kids, Frederick stated. Look at the blood everywhere. Cage match. Experts believe the squirrels are acting out as a result of being fed by humans, but residents in the area asserted that they had not been interacting with the squirrels when they were attacked. When we leave the house, we have to carry mom's homemade pepper spray to make sure if it comes at us, we spray. Resident Anika Singh Sood said, the NYC Department of Health instructed for New Yorkers to call 311 if they believe they have observed an animal infected with rabies. You know, I was thinking maybe it would have more to do with like a past feeding, like the squirrels got used to being fed, like uh, losing the fear of humans. But then now with times being different, Something to do with perhaps less food available. Resources are scarce. There aren't as many humans outside actually feeding them. So not necessarily, hey, I reach out and throw him a peanut or a grape or whatever they eat. And he starts tearing my arm off trying to get more. But just the fact that their food source that used to be there isn't there anymore. I don't know. Just the thought I had. I, that seems to make more sense to me. I don't know. What do you think about that? Let's see what the comments say. Angry Karen squirrels that attack when they don't get what they want. There you go. Karen is a people's name. Come on, man. Why are you going to ruin it? Come on, man. Oh my God, even the wildlife are psycho, just like the residents. Sounds like the way the uncurbed foxes in UK started doing similar stuff. But in UK, 
we just get people denying it. Ah, uh, we love the little deer foxes. And the tree rats, too. BB Pellet Gun will take care of that problem. <laughs> Stamp on them and ta-da, dead rodent, no more problems. Gray squirrels can be very tough and give a nasty bite if they are under attack, but I just read somewhere else that aggression and unusual boldness, rabies-like symptoms, can be caused by a worm infection. Huh. Well, that would be interesting. That's, that's knowledge right there, if that's true. It's something that you occasionally get from the comments. Usually people just kind of talk a little smack, have a little fun with it, but if that's legitimately true, that's some good information, right? Squirrels don't normally get rabies. I wouldn't take a chance of bit though. First zombie mutant mink, and now bloodthirsty squirrels. What does Mother Nature have up her sleeve next 2021, baby? <laughs> Speaking of which, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Watch out for squirrels. They're not as nice and cute as you think they are. If you got some food, throw it to them and just run away. But thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you're doing well, and hopefully your 2021 is getting off to a good start. Be well.